I guess the best way to describe my cultural identity in one word is lopsided. My childhood and adolescence have been mediated by transatlantic flights and a lot of feeling torn between two places. A global metropole of 8 million people and a farm town of maybe 5,000. Dual citizenship, they call it, but that's easy enough to say. I think Stuart Hall put it well when he wrote, identity is not as transparent or unproblematic as we think. Rather that we should think of it as a production, which is never complete, always in progress, and always constituted within, not outside representation. My identity is certainly always in progress and seems like a good reflection of the Birmingham school principles. It's like a constant game of civilized tug of war. Hall talks about representation and what the word truly means, which turns out to be perhaps more than one thing. In fact, he presents two ways we can think of cultural identity. One being that which reflects common historical experiences and shared cultural codes. I see and hear references to both American and German cultural history almost every day of my life. We all know the stereotypical views that come to mind with everything German, and in those moments when they are brought up, I feel I identify much more strongly with that part of my culture and begin to defend, correct, or explain in a way of support. And the truth is, Germans have their own plentiful stereotypes about everything American. So when I'm in Germany, I side with America, providing the same support and defense that I do on the other side of the Atlantic. Everyone likes to put their own spin on things, but I'm very much an advocate for both countries and their respective cultures. Paul said, identities are the names we give to the different ways we are positioned by and position ourselves within the narratives of the past. I was raised in a multicultural city, educated at an international school, and have straddled two cultural identities my entire life, trying to find a balance. And I have accepted, as Hall says, the instability, the permanent unsettlement, the constant transformation that is my cultural identity. Across a frozen field you hear a call with the urgency of the boiling